Now today we've got some cool guests that are in the building. If you've been walking around Franklin Park Mall or the past couple years, or even just recently, then you know what time it is. It's Easter eggs, and they are decorated by local artners, artists. It's a partnership with the Arts Commission, and today we have two of our artists in the building to talk about it. Terrence and Terry Lene, a father-daughter duo. How y'all doing? Yeah, Good. All right, all right. Good. Okay, so when we're talking about our, your Easter egg in particular, there's two different designs. Terry Lene, how'd you get the inspiration behind the designs? And get so creative. Well, my dad's pretty much my inspiration, but what is the reason why I did it is because I made, I'm made making a coloring book, and one of the pieces on the Easter egg was a coloring page that I made. But we decided to do a bunny inside of the basket instead of a puppy mm -hmm. for Easter. And then on the other side, I saw some cartoons, very familiar cartoons in the SpongeBob family. And the SpongeBob painter was from a painting that I did myself, and we decided to put it on the Easter egg as well. So you are 13. A 13-year-old artist, which is incredible. Your skill is so, so good. Terrence, when you see just even her crafting the egg, I know you helped take part. What goes through your mind as a father, as a fellow artist? Uh, I mean, just her growth at 13. And uh, I've been doing art my whole life. But at 13, like, she started to profit from her art. And I, I didn't do that until well after I graduated high school. So uh, I'll just be proud of her. And and her growth and me being her teacher. Like, I put a lot of pressure on her because it's what I do. And uh, she she takes it well and and uh, puts it to good use. I was going to say, so we're even seeing some footage now of you guys decorating the eggs. So you did this in just one day. Mm -hmm. We're seeing the aftermath. And you had talked about your hospital journey a little bit. Do you want to inspire other kids with your artwork? Yes. Like. Not, not too long ago, this girl, she inboxed me on Messenger, and she was asking me if I can do one of the one classes with her daughter, you know, teach her daughter how to draw. Mm -hmm. And I also, like, make stuff for hospitals. You make stuff for hospitals? Yeah, like, I make these, like, paper squishies. And so, like, when I go to the doctors in Columbus, I would give them to the nurses to, like, give out to the kids, because a lot of kids love, like, squishies and stuff and people use them as stress relievers. That is so cool. So when you were in the hospital and you started drawing, so that was where you had first started to draw, mm -hmm. what was going through your mind, or is that how you started to develop your craft? Yeah, pretty much. But, like, I've been coloring since I was, like, a little baby. But like I said, I, I only started drawing in 2017. When so. she was hospitalized. Uh, she had a bone marrow transplant to cure her sickle cell. And uh, she spent months at a time away from her peers. And uh, she used art as a coping mechanism. Yeah. And uh, since that journey is just what she do all day, every day, it's like it became her life fully. I love that you guys are taking your artwork and the story and going through a difficult time and making it into something beautiful and for people to enjoy and for inspiring other people. Now, where can people find you and check you out and view your great artwork? Well, I have a YouTube channel. Come on, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> it's called, not card, it's called Art and Vlogs by Nay. Mm -hmm. And I have a Facebook account. Um, my Facebook account is Terry Lane Chapman. And I also have TikTok. And that account is Art by Nay as well. I see. Okay, guys, thank mm -hmm. you so much for joining us. Thank you for having us. We're going to put that information up there. 13 year old artist Terry Lene on NBC24.com will hit that NBC What's Going On tab.